you pointed to the 2000s as like your kind of like heavy celebrity time. To me, that that seemed kind of odd because for me, it would be like, well, of course, the 80s. And uh, yeah, the 80s. Well, okay, so in the course of skating, skating got popular in the 80s for sure, but it was still very much considered a novelty. And for so sure. there, it, obviously, we as skaters who grew up there thought it was everything. But like it was never on the news, you know what I mean? It was never right. It was never in mainstream. It was rarely in commercials and stuff like that. What it was, and and I, I think that this this would probably be pretty accurate, is that uh, nobody knew about it at all. And then 1985, Back to the Future yes. came out, and every kid in the world got a skateboard for Christmas that year. Yep. In 1985, and like 98 percent of those kids found out very quickly how difficult skateboarding is you know it's like wait a second this isn't fun i like this is hard and like i fell down and i didn't like that that hurts you know yeah and so it's a very small percentage of the kids who get a skateboard that actually go on to become in any way proficient and that whole process serves to totally weed out any kids that are like just half ass you know you you have really isolated with skateboarding like the most driven persistent like like willing to sacrifice like you know like go to any lengths it's a pretty special person who is a skateboarder and like at this time that we're talking about it wasn't cool you know yeah so you you choose to skate and then it's hard yeah. and also everyone's telling you to not do it or telling you, you can't do it right your parents are telling you not i mean it was just you had to really persevere even just to do it for fun at all not to be serious about it but fast forward to so i think you're right like back to the future was definitely a catalyst for people to start skating the next sort of wave of that was i believe our video game series because it, it there are a bunch of pros these days that started skating because they played it on a video game yeah and yeah that's, that's odd to me but, but i believe it because that, 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 that's not your era so right. Um, but I mean, I'm talking about like some of the best yeah. writers in the world. A guy like Shane O'Neill, he played our video game series and thought all that stuff's possible. <laughs> yeah. and, then, and then he made then he started made doing it. Possible, yeah. yeah, and he made it possible. This is the guy who That's wins crazy. the battle at the barracks on, like routinely. I love Tony Hawk, and he's raising money to build skate parks by selling a limited number of these hand-signed legendary photos, and there's a link in the bio to get one. So help Tony Hawk build skate parks, okay? Buy a hand-signed frickin' print. Yeah, dude. Yeah, dude.